Right, today, my lovers, I've got a good permission. I'm going to metal detect the other side of the hedge from where I found, or at least I think I found, the long barrow. So if it is a long barrow, the other side of the hedge will be where... Oh, it's a bit bumpy here. Will be where the um, burial chambers would be inside the long barrow. And it looks like a plough has trashed it. It looks really broken up. So hopefully, on the other side of the hedge, we'll find some Bronze Age stuff. And way back then, they also used to do burials. Uh, the Saxons used to do burials near to um, Bronze Age burials. But, you know, they'd sort of, like it was sacrosanct ground, like, like a church is today, where people were, obviously, hundreds of years ago, people used to sneak their relatives into churchyards and bury them in the dead of night you know just to because way back then um you'd have to be you know a, a lord or a lady to get buried in a churchyard peasants weren't allowed so what they used to do is they used to sneak in in the dead of night and bury their relatives especially children right got a drain in flood here let's see if i can find some bronze age finds a nice Gold talk would be nice. Woohoo! Since I made this video about three years ago, I've now bought a Lorenz Deepmax Z2, which should allow me to get down to oh, three or four or five meters. I've made it, my lovers. I'm here. There's the mound. Now it's not very much of a mound. Now if it was Bronze Age, normally Bronze Age mounds are like up here, but uh, obviously this might have been ploughed flat over thousands of years. And there's just a little bump here now. I'll show you the little bump, shall I? Here it is, just a little bump. I don't know if you can see it. Now, see the old uh, tractor track? See it going up and over? There's a definite, it's on the edge of the slope there, that tractor track. So there's the bump, and I've got a whacking big signal here. It's a bit further away than uh, I would have liked. I would have liked it bang on top of the bump. But I got a lovely signal just here. Here it is. Oh, what do you reckon? A nice Bronze Age knife? Oh, there it is. It's just popped out. Looks like a coin. A nice Bronze Age coin. Hmm, doesn't seem to be much on there. But I'd say that was quite old, not quite Bronze Age though. Look how thin it is. Right, I'll give it a rubber dub dub. Uh, see if we can get anything off of it, but it's not looking hopeful. Oh, there we go, my lovers. There is a head facing to the right, and that's all I can see. Well, that's not too bad, is it? First signal, 600 year old coin. Maybe, well, 400 maybe. Probably William III, something like that. Right, on to the next. Right, I've been over the mound, my lovers, with the detector. And unfortunately, it's not picking anything up. But, if there are goods, grave goods in there, they could be metres under the ground. And my machine's not going, seeing deep enough to be able to pick it up. But come the spring and the summer, I'll be putting my mega machine over that. And it would be wonderful to see what's meters under the ground there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dig a hole right in the top of the mound to see what's there so to see if there's any like stone or uh, uh flints it, like a couple of nice bronze age flints would be good um so there still could be stuff there but it could be just so deep that i can't see it is there are stones here because the geophysics machine said there's stones here But I've just gone down, what have I gone down? Oh, getting on for two feet I've gone down. And there's no stones there. So that's the problem I'm having with the detector. The detector can't see that deep. I'm getting lips, little tiny little blips, and, but when I try and get over them, they're, they're gone. So it's probably like little nails and stuff. Right, so I'm going to go further afield now. I've got a signal just over there, and I'm going to go and check it out after I've filled this hole back in. 
Go is that signal I got here. Oh, there it is. Oh, what's that? It's not a mood tube. Uh, that's good for a good signal for a bit of rubbish. What do you think? Ancient art artifact or cack? Right, on to the next. Right, there's the target just over there, the little bump. And just over here, I dug another target, it turned out to be a bit of rubbish. But you look at the difference in the soil. Look at the colour of it compared with over there with the, with the mound. It's a bit from the mound, look. The soil's redder over there, look. And over here it's darker. A lot darker. That implies habitation. So perhaps it could be some sort of building. And there's charcoal in the ground as well. well look, look at that for charcoal. Perfect charcoal. Right. So I'm going to carry on making these little observations. So that when I make the video I will send it to my archaeologist friends and they can uh, pass judgement. Oh, look at this signal I got here. Oh, there it is right on the side wall. Oh. I didn't hit it, did I? Looks like I might have had it. Oh, now that's different. What's that? It's got a bump in the middle. Is it a button? Oh, that's a button. Pesky button. Go on, we go in then. I thought that was going to be something ancient. You can see where the shank snapped off just there. Right, let's see if there was anything on it. Um, no, nothing on it. Right, on to the next. Oh, I got something in here. Can you see it? Is it a coin or is it a pesky button? Oh, oh, it's a pesky button. Oh, it's an old one though. Look at the size of the loop. There's a good big loop on it. Right, let's see if there's anything on there. Didn't look like it, but yeah, that's quite an old one. Right, on to the next. Oh, we got a nice signal just here. Mm, 12.25 is a good number. A nice golden stater. Oh, I can see something. that. Oh, it looks quite old. Right, there it is. It's got like a lump at one edge and it almost looks like a little bowl because the, the rims are sort of raised up on each edge. It's quite thick metal, so I'm saying it's quite old. And it's got a patina that's coming off, look. So it's some sort of thing and I'm sure I've dug one of these before but I can't remember what it is. Right, on to the next. Go oh, look at this signal I got here. Ugh. 
Ugh. It's an old hinge. Oh, I'm becoming unhinged. Go, oh, I got something down in here. Is that it? No, it's a rock. Is it a rock? A not nice piece of pottery. No, it's a rock. Oh. Or is it two? Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Is it on? No. I'm turning it on might help. Ah. Ah, there she blows. A little debuckle. Not very old. Oh well, on to the next. Go cool, look at this signal I got here. He thinks it's right there. Oh, I can see something. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is it a pocket watch? Is it what's left of a pocket watch? It might be. Oh, it's just the back. Yeah, I think it's the back of an old pocket watch. One day I'll find a solid gold one of these. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? A solid gold pocket watch. Right, let's see if there's anything on it. We've had a lot of rain lately. Doesn't appear to be. Yeah, there's the hinge where it broke, look. And a deep pocket watch, wouldn't it? Let's give it a rub on the magic trousers. Nope. Right, I'll see if the rest of it's in there. Nope, that was it. Sounds really big. It's probably a bit of tin can or something. <laughs> Ooh. Well, it's not bronze. Feels like lead, but it's got a good big hole in the middle. Let's wash it off in this newly formed puddle. Yeah, it's a piece of lead with a big hole in the middle. Now, that could be quite old. Now, it looks a little bit like a palm guard, but I haven't found one with a huge hole like that before. Let's give it a better wash. Uh, is there anything on there? Just looks rough. Right. Yeah, for making uh, pushing needles through things, I suppose you'd be able to fit the needle in there nice and easy, wouldn't you? You push it through. We had a signal just here, and I turned the clot over, and I can see it. I've just turned it out and there it is. It's appeared. Oh, it looks like a coin. 
Looks like a coin. Oh, is that George the Third? Looks like it might be George the Third. Facing to the right, you can see his little bit of uniform there. Look. Oh, there he is, my lovers. Look, this is his battle dress there. Look. I can't see any eyes. But I think it's George the Third. And there's Britannia on the back. Right, on to the next. Oh, I got something down in here. Ugh, it's in there somewhere. Definitely very boggy today. Oh. Did that get it out? Nope, I'm still in there. Ugh. Oh. Right, got oh, it. I can see it. It's a good big lead disc with a funny lump on the back. Yeah, what is that? Is it a pop mend? It might be a pop mend or it might be something else entirely. Right, I don't know what that is. This definitely looks old. What's that, my lovers? Could be a pop mend. Right, on to the next. Oh, I've just dug this out, my lovers, and I can see it. Can you see it? Oh, looks old. Oh, looks like it's been mangled into a love token. Oh, I wonder if there's anything on it that we can see. Oh, it's quite a thin coin. Right, it is pretty crusty, but I don't know if you can see it. Right there on the top, you can see an R and an E. And that's the only thing I can see. The rest of it has got this crustacean on there. So perhaps someone could ID it from the R and the E on the top there. And on the back, I can't see anything. We think so soaking some olive oil might work. Get this crustacean off. Yeah. Right, on to the next. Cool, look at this signal I got in here. She blows. It's a big old fat coin. Right, I think that's Georgian. Let it dry up a bit and I'll get back to you. Oh, he's a bit crusty, but he's a King George the Third. There he is, and it with his little head. And on the back, somewhere in there's Britannia. Right, on to the next. Oh, we've got something down in here. Oh. oh, that's it. Right. Oh, what's that then? Is it an escutcheon plate? It might be an escutcheon for a keyhole. Key 
pretty old plate. It might be, don't know. Right. Or it could be, could be a knife. A little knife, um, you know, the plate that does that. Maybe. A little guard plate you have to add on knives. Don't know. What do you think, my lovers? On to the next. Go, oh, we got something in here. Where is it too? Oh, I can see a rim. I can see a rim. It is King George the third. That's the third King George I've had. Give it a rub on the old trousers. Yes, yeah, good day to you, Your Majesty. Hmm. Yeah, it's this. He's there somewhere. And there's Britannia. Oh, that's it, me lovers. Didn't find much, but it's interesting that the saw on the top of the this end of the barrow, because the hedge is just here is a much lighter colour than the soil all the way around it. In fact, the soil all the way around this field was much, much darker, with lots of bits of uh, um, charcoal and lots of bits of like little bits of red reddish terracotta coloured tile, uh, pottery. So it might be interesting to come back and geofizz the whole of this field. I think there might be stuff, other stuff here. Right. Didn't find much today. Well, Georgian coins, Nothing really spectacular. That odd lead thing, which I'm thinking must be a, a pot mend of some description. And some other bits and pieces. I was hoping to find a, a Bronze Age hoard, but uh, looks like my detector's not going to go deep enough. Because I dug that hole over yonder, a good two feet down, and I didn't come across the stone that the geophysics was showing up. So it must be, it must be really deep under the ground. Oh well. And these archaeologists, all they complain about is that we're destroying the countryside. Well, a lot of the archaeologists is just way too deep. And if you ever noticed when, when you watch Time Team, uh, when, they, when they come onto a field, they get the JCB out and they scrape off the first foot of soil and dump it somewhere. And, they, and they've got the gall to moan at us saying we're destroying the countryside and they go and do that with JCBs. Yeah. You should look in the mirror. Right, that's enough politics. Cheers. I'll do so much for my true love.